Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Um, today I am gonna bring you a uh, stewed pig feet. This is a recipe someone I had asked me on my channel. How do I make my stew my feet, my pig feet? And um, this is one of the ways. This is kind of like the Puerto Rican way. But like I said, I, I take recipes. I make them my own, or I just, you know, I try to make it that way. The only thing different. In this recipe that I am not going to use, but I'm going to show you, is the chickpeas. Now, this pig feet, the way it is, it usually comes um, with with uh, garbanzo beans in it. You know, it's, uh, it's stewed the last 20 minutes with the garbanzo beans. I don't really like chickpeas, so I'm not going to use it, but I did want to show you them just in case you want to put them um, towards the end when we finish doing the pig feet. But I myself don't use them. But I'm putting it there just so you know. This this usually is a is a, is with garbanzos, but I don't like to put them in. So what I'm doing today is I went and I just went to the supermarket. I got uh, four pounds of pig feet. Each of these is about two pounds. I'm gonna wash this really well with some vinegar. I'm washing my pig's feet with vinegar really well. Now what I do first with that is you need your pig feet to get a little tender. So before I start making the ghee sole, which is the stewed, the juices and all that, I'm going to first boil this meat up and let it get tender. Now this pork feet should cook for about an hour and a half to two. You have to check it like after an hour to see how tender it is because when you're going to start doing the rest of the stuff for your stew, it shouldn't be like super soft, just a little bit tender because remember, it's going to continue cooking with the sauces, okay? So what we're going to start first is we're going to wash it and we're going to boil this for about an hour and a half. So after the hour and a half or so, when that's done, we go back to here. So now what we do, what we need to start our stew is I'm going to need one onion. You only need one tablespoon of tomato paste, but I have my whole paste there. Only one tablespoon. You're going to need one package of this Sazon Goya. You're going to need one tomato sauce. I'm going to put a little salt and cumin on my feet before I boil them. You're also going to need your homemade sofrito. I have my sofrito. If you don't have it, you can always look at my recipe, how to make sofrito. The other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a piece of, um, of um, pumpkin. So what I'm doing is from this whole big piece, I'm only cutting a little slice. That's really all I need, and then I'll just put that away. But I only need about a nice slice of that. I cut it in cubes. And I put it when I put everything together and this will melt but this pumpkin is what gives it extra yummy flavor okay so here's all our ingredients we're gonna go oh another thing is that um another thing is that I have my pot here with an onion I like to flavor my water with the onion so once this boils I'm gonna add my feet that I season with just a, a teaspoon of salt and some cumin okay so Remember, stay on top of it. Uh, depending how your how how tough your your pig feet are is how much. So I wanted to show you. It's been about half an hour that I've had it boiling. Um, I lowered it a little bit. You see, you're gonna get this. It's like this black residue. It comes from the the meat, the bone of the meat itself, or it's like blood. Anyway, what you're gonna do? You're gonna just clean it out. That's it. It's really simple. You just clean it out. So you make sure that you clean all of it, and then you cover it, and then I'm going to leave it for about an hour because it's already been half an hour that I waited for it to boil and all this stuff to come up. We just, see, we skim that all out. So you just keep cleaning it out and skimming it out, and then you cover it for an hour. All right? Yummy, so I just shut it off. So these uh, pig feet actually took about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, they're almost tender. So how you know they're tender, you get your fork, and you see how how fast and how smooth it goes inside. Right now it's just perfect. It's not falling apart. Cause remember with the sauce and every the whole sofrito you're gonna do, you're gonna cook it in that about like another 20, 30 minutes. So you don't want it to be super soft. And then when you put in the sauce, it becomes a mush. So I mean I don't know unless you like it like falling off the bone kind of. That's up to you. Myself I like it soft but not like the super mushiness. You know. So for me right now it's perfect. I left it an hour and 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a plate. And I'm going to save about a cup or two of this uh, of this broth, of this stock. And I'm going to hold it because I'm going to need about a cup. Great, so now we start the part. 
what I've done is I have a hot pot with some olive oil what I did is I wait till it's hot I have my onion sliced here and I added a tiny bit of pepper I had there I just thought I added for a little extra flavor I have the pumpkin cut up which I'm gonna add after um, so what I start first is I put my onions in I have everything on the side ready that I'm gonna put in because once I finish with adding everything I'm gonna cover it for about 20 minutes and then it should be ready Yummy, so we have our onions there. We stir fry them a little bit. Wait about two minutes and then we're gonna add the sofrito. Great, so I fried it up a little bit, like a minute or two. Now I'm gonna add my sofrito. Finish frying that up too. I'm at about two big spoons. One. So I just, look, that's my sofrito. See, yummy, oh my gosh, that is gives it so much flavor. We add our package of Sazon Goya. We'll fry that around them. Yummy. Oh my gosh. So, uh, smells so good in here. That sofrito, man. Off the chain. Oh, it's smelling delicious. So as I'm stir frying this, another thing that I forgot to tell you to add is we add a, a bouillon of chicken stock. Okay, one of those chicken bouillons, gobito de pollo. Just squeeze it in there. Move that around. So remember at this point you haven't added salt yet. Remember the only little bit of salt you added was when you were cooking the pig feet. So we don't add salt yet because that gobito has a lot of salt in it. So what we do is after we stew it, we taste it and if we need salt, we add some salt. Oh my god, that smells so good. So now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. And my tomato paste, one tablespoon of tomato paste. Move that around, fry that up for a minute. Fry that up for a minute. This smells so good, man. Oh boy, it's incredible here. All those flavors that are in here. Ooh, yummy. Pig feet. Who would think? Pig feet, right? Pig feet would be so good. Alright, so now I'm adding my pumpkin and my potatoes I cut up. I'm going to add the stock. I'm going to do it little by little. I'm going to add, yeah, I'm going to add little by little because I don't want to put too much stock. Move that around really well. Oh, man. See that? Now add your pig feet. Yummy. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more broth. That's it. Move we'll it really well so that the broth could go all over. So at this point, if you're gonna use the garbanzo beans, is when you put them in too. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to use garbanzo beans, and I don't like mine too wet. So this is why I don't fill the, the, the pot all the, to the top of broth. I like the sauce a little thicker and not too wet. So you could at this point add the garbanzos and add more liquid if you want it more wet. And like if you're making, you know, if you want the gravy, extra gravy, because some people love just the gravy. So now what I do is I'm going to let this come to a boil. Then I'm going to cover it and put it at medium for about 20 minutes. So here it goes. I left it exactly 25 minutes. Yummy. So this is where um, you're going to taste it. And you're going to see if you think you need salt and um, a little adobo or something. Mm. The flavor is very good. I'm going to just add about half a teaspoon of salt. That's about it. And uh, I'm going to let it simmer for another like 10 minutes uncovered as you can see my gravy it's getting thick I'm actually gonna cover it no not uncovered I'm gonna leave it for another 15 minutes covered and it's gonna be and that should be it and then you have your rice ready you have your sweet plantains if you want or you can make tortones which is the regular green plantains 
You can have a nice salad, an avocado salad. These are just so yummy and tasty, and oh, I just love these. I love pig feet. I mean, I like when I do them because I like to wash them really well with that vinegar. And uh, so right now I just raised it up a little bit. I'm going to cover it, and it should be ready in about 10 minutes. And if you like it really soft, then you just keep tasting them and see how much longer you want to keep them, okay? Mm, so that is it. We are done. We shut that off. The final thing I do is I add a spoonful of chopped up cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, you could skip this step, you know? You don't have to add this extra bit of cilantro, but I love my cilantro. And that's the equa thing in me. You know, we use so much cilantro. Anyway, it just gives it that extra yumminess. So, as you can see, we are ready. Let me show you that broth. As it cools, it'll get a little thicker. Yummy. Look at that. Yummy stuff. A lot of flavor in there. And then, look at our, our pig feet. Nice, tender, perfect. Mm. See that? Became nice in color. It got some color. It was pale before, but because we had just boiled it with not much stuff. Which is fine, because this is where it's going to get all the flavor. Yummy. So if you like your pig feet, like I said before, really, really tender, falling off the bone kind of type, you leave it uh, st stewing. You cover it and you leave it at, at like, at like a, a low medium for, I would say, another, what, 30 minutes? And then you have it really soft. So all together, this recipe today, um, the boiling in the water took about an hour and 20 minutes. Then to stew it in the tomato sauce mix, it, I left it all together, I would say, I left it about 40 minutes. I had it at 20 and then I really left it like about another 20. And we're done. And it's delicious. Hey guys, so that was my delicious pig feet stewed. Um, I also was on the side making some other food I wanted to show you. Because I have a video of this soup. This is a hearty delicious soup for these cold days. It's so good. It's right here. Yummy. It's my meatball soup. Sopa de albondiga. Look at all those meatballs. I have um, meat there, steak, green beans, carrots, corn, mm, fresh yuca. It's so yummy. The meatballs, they're made out of beef and plantain. They come out so soft and lovely. So I was making this big pot of soup. Yum. So I just wanted to show you that. So if you want to check out that recipe for meatball soup, you could check out my videos. It's there. Sopa de albondiga, it's also yummy. Yum, so here's our finished product. I'm serving up with some right rice. I didn't make plantains. And I have a little pepper just to add a little spice. Yummy, let's see that. Look at it. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. The gravy, look, ends up coming out really thick. Oh, and it has so much flavor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I hope you keep watching. And that to that subscriber out there who requested this, I hope you make them, and they come out as delicious as these. And thanks for watching, and have a good Sunday, because it's Sunday today. Bye.